Welcome everyone. Hello. Project Ecophone is implemented within the regional program on local democracy in the Western Balkans, funded by the European Union and implemented by the United Nations Development Program. After 30 long hours, we completed our very first hackathon. We are thankful to all of you and a huge congratulations to the teams, mentors, jury, especially Arlene, the manager of this project, and all of the organizers of this wonderful event. We had, we had a total of 11 groups, um, around 50 students from different cities around the country. Personally, I am proud of all the teams that the work that they have put. We have some amazing, amazing, creative and innovative ideas that will hopefully be implemented in real life. We hope that the jury will enjoy listening to everyone's idea. Have fun. Thank you. So, um, hi. Hello to everyone. Uh, firstly, I would like to say hello to all the teams and congratulations for your hard work and sleepless night. I think that you have prepared uh, creative solutions for us. We as uh, judges will have a most difficult decision to make because uh, we will have to choose the best of the best. So I want to wish you a lot to all of you and to have the best solution we Thank you. Thank you. We are going to continue with the presentations. And we would like to welcome the first group that's going to present their idea. And the first group is the Flex. Uh, I am Mustafa. Today I am going to represent our team solution for stray dogs. Uh, uh, our solution aims to keep away dogs from commonly used roads. We are planning to make this with an ultrasonic device. Uh, how does the device work? Uh, uh, this device produces voice that we can hear, but dogs can, and they are irritating from that. Uh, uh, we are planning to attach this device to the uh, electrical columns, and this is how they are going to function. Uh, this device has 100 degrees angle uh, angle of function, uh, and it detects um, also motion. Uh, this device is also weatherproof. Uh, this device has 15 meter range, and we are planning to apply this uh, device to 24 kilometers. And approximately, we'll need 1,600 pieces of them. Uh, this is the road. Uh, this is the road that how we are going to make this uh, device work. We are planning to make, put the devices on here, and this area is going to be dog, uh, dogless area. Uh, we are planning to apply the devices on these roads. These are the main roads of Gosimar. The budget. Uh, there will be there. We will need to sixteen uh, hundred thousand of the devices, and price of the device is eighteen dollars. But we'll buy a little, a big amount of devices, and that will cost ten dollars to us, and it makes sixteen thousand dollars. And we'll also want to use Arduinos that uh, they are going to work in specific time, so you can. Uh, go around with your dog. For example, at night there isn't no, there are no uh, students in the roads, and you can uh, easily go and wander around with your dog. Uh, and situation. Program increase. Uh, will the price for the programming uh, is one thousand dollars, and we'll uh, place them for five hundred dollars. It makes. Uh, 1,500. Totally, it makes me uh, $19,900. Do you have any questions? So, what minute 
question answered. You can ask, and he has one minute to answer. Okay. First question is, uh, is this device already? Uh, yes, it e yes, it exists. It yes, exists. we can buy it. There is a link that we can buy. It. Mm -hmm. so you, can you explain shortly what kind of programming mode you should do because it sounds like very cheap that you need just only 1,000 to do the programming? Can we do uh, first only the questions and he can only answer uh, for one minute? Okay. okay. So what does the programming part consist of? What do you need to do just shortly? Okay. Uh, other questions? Where can we buy this device? It's okay. Okay. Other questions? One uh, this device already exists on the internet and uh, the programming part is that these devices exist, they are working, they are functioning right well. Uh, what, we, what we need to do is to replace them, the program, there is no such a need for that, we just need a specific time when we use our DNS for that, that's all we need programming in this project. Uh, a big thanks to the group Flex. One round of applause, please. So the second group that will present their idea is Dream Team. Hello, I am Donara Safari and I am a member in uh, Dream Dream. Uh, today I am uh, I have the honor to present our uh, project for uh, the future in the technical. <coughs> what is the problem? Unemployment, lack of legal, uh, technical workers, and jewelry only. What? Uh, why technical school? Uh, by this uh, uh, project is a prediction that the students will be aware for a better future. The school offers a diploma which ensures a job without any uh, high degree, big uh, exper uh, experience while practicing. Uh, there is uh, our logo what, uh, for our project. Uh, this uh, project uh, will realize with uh, uh, technical school, Gossibar Massipitli and with companies. Our solution. It is a particular that a part of the job will be done through companies. And uh, the employer's position will be uh, by the skills that they process. This project is also on the municipality forward because the responsibility of uh, getting job decreases and the young generation won't think of the immigration of this country. Thank you. And do you have any questions? I didn't see anything about the cost to accomplish this of these three initiatives. The solution is uh, in internet and can uh, make uh, uh, our uh, school, technical school, have a uh, uh, very uh, uh, different grades. And uh, we have uh, a company, Mega Metal, and uh, the student uh, can uh, uh, work in uh, this uh, company and can, uh, uh, after, the, uh, after the study, can uh, this. Thank you. So the third group that we will invite right now is the dark space. So, hello, I am Master Video. I come from the team Dark Space. Uh, first of all, hello, hello dear judges and the public. Um, I am very thankful that you came today to hear our problem and our solution about our problem. I think we can start. 
So, the, our project, first of all, is called Autism. So, the word autism was coined after the Latin word autismus in 1910 by Swiss psychiatrist Eugen Blur. This means these words came, first of all, from Latin uh, language, and after that, implanted in Greek, that was autos. Continue. The key point of this project, the key point of, the, of this project is to help our society. So, do you know what is autism? Someone does it. So we need that autism, uh, we need that those autism informations. We need to help our uh, autistic kids here in Gostilo. And we need the free local ter therapist here in Gostilo. So, continue the other slide. The website. We have created a website about the autism. So first of all, you're going to log in, in our website. And there you will have like the general knowledge about autism. What is autism? The definition of autism. After that, you will have a questionnaire. And the questionnaire, you have to answer the uh, questions just by the parent. So the parent has the right to answer every question and to submit. After that, they have the right to go to the other slide or the second phase, which can be, which is the all indoor activities for kids with autism. So uh, they uh, will know how to uh, talk with their kids, how to behave with their kids at home. Because you cannot just only uh, tell, uh, uh, behave with your kids and uh, treat the autism just by going private lessons. Continue. The objective, our space purpose is to help our community, as I said. And we have, we, I think we need to build a sector or to host a sector about doing uh, the free lessons about the children's lives and the budget. Uh, one uh, psycho uh, ABBA therapist, therapist in, has uh, one hour, 10 euros. So approximately this, with, this will cost like 200 euros per therapist. If we host, if we get like two or three therapists uh, it, it would cost like 600 euros. Continue to the website. This is the website I told. Go scroll down. Next, we do play the video. Just next. Uh, this is a questionnaire. You have to submit at the time of the questionnaire because you're going to proceed. So they have to, we will find the uh, therapeutist and the municipality has to uh, see who's bad. Good evening, everyone. As we know, Macedonia is a place where most of our products, a majority, are imported by other countries. And our products are not really excellent, neither in quality nor quantity. In most cases, because of extreme weather conditions, there have been um, cases where crops have been destroyed and all that effort has gone in vain. 
that causes the price of those agricultural products to increase, uh, thus forcing the society to concentrate on unhealthy food. We have combined technology and implemented some sensor uh, with, um, in a greenhouse to demonstrate how through sensors we can create a healthy environment for plants to grow. So this is our miniature project where with Arduino and sensors we would like to demonstrate how uh, we plan for this project to work. We have two sensors, thermal sensors and photo sensors. So the thermal sensor controls the temperature. The moment when the temperature is increased, uh, there is a ventilation system that would reverse the air temperature to its optimal um, limitation. And on the other hand, the light sensor would control the uh, light uh, level and the moment it decreases, uh, we have LEDs implemented which would automatically turn on and those would help plants finish photosynthesis without damaging them in any shape or form. Uh, this will be an automatic system and everything will happen automatically. The purpose is to 100% um, increase the productivity. Thus we will have uh, through all seasons plants and vegetables that will uh, grow healthy and will be high in quantity and quality. The prices will decrease, thus life standards will become better and people will concentrate more and will be able to access healthy food. If our citizens are healthy, then we would be most happy. It's also quite a pleasant project because um, price-wise we consider that what we need is 8 to 10,000 euros which can be compensated in a time from 1 to maximum 2 years. And after that, everything that the farmers gain, it's uh, totally up to the citizens' use and it will impact the economy directly. So the next group is Union and Progress. Hello. First, I want to say thank you to you all the audience that came here to see us, our projects that we have created during the competition. So there you can see our project is uh, called Smart Municipality. Uh, we want to create a software or program that will include uh, information about our municipality and it will be in a free platform. We are planning to be in a free platform, platform in uh, tablets, uh, phones and uh, information uh, touch uh, technology screens. Uh, uh, in which, uh, in this project, so uh, we have uh, some issues that we think that uh, all solutions will uh, give a better effect to solve these issues. Not solving totally or totally, but giving a better effect to those problems. For example, we have a communication with municipality, finding a work, a worker, introducing the city to tourists or, or non-citizens. Uh, we have a smart app and we have a smart screens. In a smart app is an app or applications that will be in the forms. And they uh, will uh, have. Uh, they will be uh, created mostly for the citizens to get uh, daily news, working conditions, projects of municipality, and to make a report against the municipality. Uh, and the smart screens that will be a touch uh, informative screens, which uh, they will be uh, stationed in different places all around the city. Uh, they will be useful and beneficial to tourists or strangers that do not know the city well. For example, uh, historical places, local companies, and city information. The budget, uh, according to creation, uh, I mean, we look at the creation of the phone application, smart screens, installation of a system, it will cost totally 1750 to $1,100. Now we will see the software or the programming part of our uh, applications. So, uh, there you can see uh, we have our languages, uh, let's start with the English. Uh, we have uh, about municipality port, uh, explore the city, working condition and report. About the municipality, we are giving the information about our municipality and we have a click for daily news. Here uh, we have a daily news that will update it from the administrator of the uh, municipality that will be connected with a VPN or the encrypted internet connection. Uh, we can go back. We have explore the city 
Explore the city port gives us the information about the city, and it's specially created for the tourists and the strangers that we do not know how they do not know our city. Uh, as we say, uh, the smart screens will be stationed to the uh, bus stations and uh, places where the circulation of the uh, traffic or the more frequently places. Uh, we have a click for local companies, and the local companies we will, or the local companies we will have the uh, uh, recommendation of the device because uh, only the companies that will pay to, uh, they will pay to uh, uh, municipality and they can make the advertisement of their, uh, of their companies. So, uh, and we have another part which is uh, historical places like mosques, churches and historical ancient hippodromes and something like that. Do you have any questions? I have a couple of questions. Yeah. Uh, first question, which is completely out of the topic, I'm asking myself whether we're in Macedonia because you all speak English so well. Uh, I learned it in the from and, and music, so you know. Yeah, but I, I, I love yeah. not only you, but also artists who, who presented yeah. previously. Um, my first question is, I'm not sure if you will remember, I will. okay, I can, uh, how many info panels you will have around the city, I didn't see. Uh, we are playing uh, three pieces uh, for the first time, like, uh, like I said, at the bus station, because the strangers or the tourists that will come to your city, directly will appear a device that will, a uh, device that will let uh, to inform them to know about more about the city. Uh, we can, uh, we'll add to the center of the city and uh, to the uh, places that they will be uh, more uh, functional and more uh, people, the circulation. Okay. Uh, the, and, circulation. Uh, and the, set, the next question is, uh, how did you construct the budget of 350 to 400? 2,000. Uh, for that, for that. On for that, for here, uh, we have here a lot of uh, programmers, and we just ask them uh, approximately how how much can be the budget, and they give us a uh, price. So, and we wrote it. So, approximately will be. But if you ask them, they will do it for that price. Uh, no, I mean uh, they just told me about average. I mean okay. uh, a lot of the programmers how can okay. do it. So. Okay. 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 <laughs> Any other questions? It's okay, thank you. So the next group is the Blind Lizards. As we saw from the intro, our main objective is, objective is to encourage students to read more books. Because by reading books, they develop many important skills such as critical thinking and ability to focus for a long period of time and long. We're going to accomplish this goal with a website. Here, students can comp compete with one another in quizzes or take part in events where they will discuss about different topics. And this is how their website might look like. It's just a demo. There are three main parts. As you can see, the events, the leaderboards, and the books. Um, uh, this is the book section. Here you can select the book for which you will start the quiz. Um, there are going to be books from your school, but also books for, uh, which are in the public library. Uh, uh, which was really was developed by John Henry Swift. So we'll show how the quiz will look like. Um, this is how the quiz will look like. There will be 10 questions, and each question will have three possible answers, but only one, only one is correct. There's also a time limit, and if the camera hits zero, you get zero points. On a correct answer, you get one point, and on a wrong answer, you get zero points. Those are just the um, This is the result of your quiz. Your total points, correct answers, and wrong answers. Um, at the end of the year, all your points get added up, and you get listed onto the leaderboards. The three first students will get certificates and rewards like a seventh day vacation for the office and so on. Um, we have done this just to stimulate or to encourage that, um, the competitiveness between students, so they compete for the best ranks. Uh, this is uh, this will, in our opinion, make the competitive and make a competitive environment, and so it will encourage students to compete with each other. 
Uh, this is Chair Wentep. Here the students will get informed about the upcoming events the, where they will gather and discuss about different topics. The topics will change from month to month. Um, Yes, we did. We did the demo of the web. Thank you. So the next group is in bloom. case the uh, municipality actually uh, started some measures to prevent this by vaccinating the dogs now to help this we actually created a website now this website is actually a, a quick and easy way to uh, adopt adopt the dog yeah this is the gallery you can actually choose a dog from the gallery uh, under every picture there's a description of the dog which we it is it uh, gender uh, health status and there is also an uh, IP code um, now if we go to the rehome back okay. now uh, this is actually a bonus for every uh, citizen that decides to adopt a dog these are several reasons why you should adopt instead of buying and this is the form that you need to fill in to uh, adopt the dog Uh, this is where you can uh, report a problem with dogs. For example, you see uh, many dogs in the street or so, so you just want to uh, get some help. So you can just easily just report it here, and the uh, uh, authorities would do something about it. Now, we actually uh, to actually support our page, we actually uh, we want to start a fundraise fundraiser. The support us button will actually take you to a, a PayPal button. Uh, which means that some some people who uh, are willing to who like animals for the dogs, but uh, don't or can't keep them, they could just donate money to help us. We also uh, well, our budget actually varies from zero to two hundred and fifty dollars. Now we need one hundred and one hundred dollars to actually host the website. The host is only one hundred dollars, but per year, the other. Uh, money will go maybe to accessories now this also depends from how many uh, donations we get from other people and we can also host uh, several events for example a dog beauty pageant or a dog marathon race or a dog talent show etc which would which would also bring uh, money okay that's it thank you Any questions? Okay, thank you. So the next group that will present their idea is Legacy Leavers. So hello everyone, my name is Sokula. I am very honored to be presenting for my group Legacy Leavers. So after a long dilemma, we finally decided to write about the topic for stray dogs. So in the first slide, we wrote about the number of stray dogs in our city. So there are 400 stray dogs, and from which 198 of them are unvaccinated. And this is a very big threat for our citizens. So in the last year, there have been 15 victims, but these victims are the ones that are reported. And there are a lot more that are on, on, record, uh, on record, or on record. The next <laughs> so we created a web page uh, to, uh, for, in order to make it easier for people to adopt dogs. 
we name it God's Dogs. So this is the home of the web, web page. <coughs> this is a bit about us. We wrote about our goals and purpose. We also created an online shopping center so people can order for their pets, clothes, toys and food. This is a form of registration for the guys who want for people who want to adopt dogs. And finally, if you have any questions, you can submit it to us, and or you can go to the uh, shelter uh, uh, in Russia. So the benefits for our, uh, from our websites are minimizing the number of stray dogs, raising the willingness of people to adopt dogs, stopping the dogs from causing collisions, and preventing the spreading of diseases. So also we created a sample of a catalog of dogs. We made an application where every dog has a serial number and in the cells where they will stay or I don't know what to call them will be a, a QR code. So when we scan them with our phones, it will, be, it will give us information about the dogs, like the name, the age, the gender, is it vaccinated, blood type, Oh, and the final part is the expenses, so we will need money only for creating the website. And the website will cost the domain plus the host for three years, for three years, 550 euros. Okay, so we are going to show, this is the website for the, uh, the catalog. So if we press in one of the dogs, one of the dogs, we will see the information about him. And also we can show the website if we have time. We have time. This is our website. We have a short photo, opt to adopt. That means choose to adopt. Here is the shop. Simple pages, you can post them for free on GitHub pages, so you don't even need that. Oh, we wanted to get a host from like a uh, com works, dot com. Yes, you will just buy the domain. I mean, but uh, first thing, you don't need to pay. When we asked one of our mentors, he said it's two hundred and twenty dollars for three years. So that's our information. Just check GitHub pages, mm -hmm. and you will know what what I'm talking about. Thank you. So the next group that will present their idea is Dreamers. Hello everyone, so I am the representative of the group Dreamers. The issue we decided to tackle today is an uh, issue that is very closely related to the big problem that is, uh, to the big problem that is young people moving out of uh, our town because of a whole lot of reasons, which is the reasons that include uh, not enough jobs, uh, bad salary, not enough jobs, bad salaries, and very high uh, price products, bad economy, uh, bad economy, bad living conditions, etc., etc. So this uh, raises the question: Do we really uh, can we really blame these young people for wanting to get out? Well, today we, as a group, have decided to create a solution that we hope can at least help a little bit in uh, solving the problem. So what we thought about is. Creating a website where we can create a website where we can uh, write all the companies that are willing out to give scholarships, with the condition that uh, the people who do manage to get the scholarship, they're supposed to work for said company for a period of time after they graduate. So it's actually quite simple. Firstly, we have to create a website, then make a list of all the companies that are willing out to give um, uh, scholarships and their uh, and what they need. Then um, High school graduates with the highest uh, JP, they can uh, they can apply, and uh, along, alongside applying, they're supposed to write a short essay on why they want this specific scholarship, and if they do win the scholarship, what is uh, that? Uh, how is that going to benefit to the company itself? If that manages to impress the company, then they'll be invited for an interview where they can uh, they'll be invited to an interview where they can uh, uh, have further discussions. Uh, the entire purpose, the entire goal of this uh, project is to create a mutual beneficial relationship between uh, the companies and the students where uh, both sides can profit. To 
students by getting a scholarship and uh, obviously securing a job, which means securing a life, so they won't have to move out. While companies by uh, having while companies by having adequate uh, employees. And uh, this is also a really great chance for students who cannot afford to go to, uh, to, to, go to university. They can get a scholarship and find their full potential. Uh, find their full potential. Uh, with, uh, now it's time to talk about the budget. We've estimated that creating a website is approximately going to cost like 1,000 euros, euros, while to maintain said, uh, said website, we need 50 euros monthly. Which isn't a lot, but uh, I think that if we do manage to make it, uh, if this manages to work, we'll be able to. It will be worth it in the end. Besides this, we've also created a website about how the website will roughly look if you take our idea into consideration. So this is the home of scholarship offers. Welcome to our website. This is a little bit about us. Then in here we have the companies who offer scholarships. Then we have pictures, a little bit of promo about the companies and. In the end, <laughs> any questions? Uh, <laughs> if you had a chance to check for it, I'm just out of curiosity asking this, probably you didn't have that much time, but if you had a chance to uh, check how many companies right at this moment offer scholarships, let's say around this time. Uh, did I have the chance to ask them? Okay. Oh, to check. Uh, no, not really, but uh, we thought it would be like around five or six, but not really. We didn't have the chance, to be honest. Because this, uh, in my opinion, this would be very interesting for companies also mm -hmm. to promote uh, themselves as a yes. uh, uh, socially responsible company yes. as well. Because they're giving support. Yes, it'd be like There's a potential to, to work this out as well. For, for them, yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yes. Yeah. 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 So the next group now will present their idea is Castriots. Uh, good afternoon. I'm a representative of the team Castriots. Uh, our project for today is titled uh, From Waste to Energy, uh, Pollution in Our Country. As we know, uh, pollution is a very big problem in our country. Uh, garbage uh, uh, garbages are a very big problem nowadays. We throw garbages everywhere, anytime, in every circumstances. And the consequences are that uh, the air is being is going to be poisoned, and there are going to be high that the the energy the level of the diseases are going to increase. How to prevent it by happening? Uh, we can prevent it happening by using modern technology. Uh, find a solution. We found a solution that can revolutionize the whole world. A simple and affordable. Uh, the goal is to build a factory that can convert garbage into electric energy. Uh, explain the process. Phase one. Uh, for the first, uh, first uh, we need to find like an adaptable area so that and that it can contain 10,000 to 50,000 uh, square meters of space. Then we can buy the machineries. Uh, the phase two is uh, the conversion of the material to steam with the help of water and uh, steam pipes that has filter in it, which will uh, exterminate the, the minerals that are going to be stopped. And the steam can pass to the generator very easily and produce the electrical uh, energy. Phase three is the battery metals and non-metals. This is an example of a converter process. Uh, the garbage is dumped here and put it into bins. Then it's uh, uh, put it into the oven that is burned, and heat goes and goes up. That it, which interacts with uh, the water, the boilers, and that from the boilers steam goes up to the turbine. A generator that causes a production of electricity. And then we have the dividation of uh, metal and non-metal objects. Uh, purchased energy. How much energy is going to be purchased? Each ton of uh, garbage is going to uh, produce 700 kilowatts per hour from burned waste. Uh, material, materials that are going to be gained are rapid, quartz, and fuller uh, benefits. Uh, central heating energy. 
central uh, creation of the central heating energy is very simple because as we know because as we know the heating process is going to be an energy for us and so it's going to be very easy for us to uh, supply it to the entire country city uh, economy we're going to have a very growth of the economy but it's better salaries more about the jobs migration etc Air pollution, pollution uh, will reduce by 85%, will be low mortality risks and less diseases. <laughs> I know the stocks are very high, but we found a sponsor that can... Questions? How did you, uh, <coughs> actually I saw that you, you said 85% will reduce pollution. Yeah. Uh, how do you know that it's exactly 85%? Well, uh, we made some calculations that showed the results in the end. But it's a, it's a rough number, but maybe it will probably less than 50. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Can uh, it, it uh, it is a non-municipality, our country here. Like, uh, yeah, it costs like a lot, but we have found a source that can sponsor us. We contacted him in real life, and he said that he's willing like, to pay 90 million euros to do this budget. For real. Can you tell us who is the sponsor? Yeah, uh, it's a uh, call for Rules Factory. Location is in Italy, and if you calculate it well, seventeen thousand trash or garbage, seventeen thousand of uh, trash garbage is deposited onto onto our country on, under a year. So if you calculate it well, seventeen thousand plus seven hundred kilowatts per uh, one ton, right? And if you multiply it with uh, seven hundred, it will it will be. It will, it will be uh, 11 million and 900 thousand dollars. And if you multiply it, it will be 
However, the, uh, this application won't, uh, won't be only used to to track the bike, but it will have its playful and competitive, uh, playful and competitive uh, system. For example, when a person uh, when a person registers uh, th uh, registers there, it will uh, it will give uh, it will give like a scheme scheme of people uh, people who have crossed uh, uh, kilometers with a bike with a bike, and that uh, in a in a period of two in a, in a period of two hours. In a, uh, in a period of two hours, and that's where the competition comes. For example, if the, if the application would be created, it would be like this. You would need to register first, then it would take you to the second part, which you would need to enter your email, your password, and the GPS code, which would be sent to you to the email. The email. And this is, for example, a list for, uh, for, the, uh, for one month of whoever has the most kilometer, kilometers. How, uh, but we also need to mention the, the, the people need to pay fee to use this public advice. The fee would be a hundred dinners for a period of two, period of two hours. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. the end all of the groups presented their ideas and we want to thank you all of them for their effort and one big round of applause please okay so till the results are uh, revealed uh, we want to take uh, take a picture with jury and the team groups if you want uh, first, the first group. But and fast, also, please. flex, fast. flex, group flex. Website has a different social media uh, programs. Uh, I mean, it has only website. Uh, we uh, we get uh, research. We saw that the information uh, that we are giving to citizens is kind of limited and is not uh, an attractive to uh, citizens and is not uh, simple. And we uh, <coughs> think to create an application that we collect the uh, new uh, daily uh, daily news. Uh, we collect uh, uh, historical places and famous places of the city, and we collect from one application. So I am a human, you are a human, everyone is a human, human. Everyone has his rights and everyone has his rights to be equal to with each other. So with that part of you would be equal with uh, autism children. So that was our purpose. That's all. They're gonna vote for the people's choice. Okay, so only the presenters one by one will enter inside. Now we have three winners because we had equal points on the first place and that's why we had to do this show in front of you. Uh, we thank the mayor for his time and also we thank the, jury, the other two jury members. Uh, thank you all. Please wait until we finish with the people's choice and the mayor's free to go. Thank you. So everyone, uh, we are going to give our certificate, so can you see it on your seats? And we're going to call you to get your certificate. Yes.
So we are here to present the winners. Are you excited? Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The, the People's Choice Awards award goes to Dark Space. <laughs> so the third award goes to I will wait. <laughs> Dreamers! So, are you ready to learn who won the second place? Yeah? Are you excited? Yeah? Okay, and the second place goes to Union and Progress. Thank you. 